Hi everyone, it's Rebecca from the Thane Center. I just wanted to walk you through how to post an opportunity specific to English 2100 technical writing. So we're gonna go over here to the Thane Center and fill out an event. We'll click on create an opportunity. With the opportunity name, we want it to start with ENGL 2100 project. And then after the colon, we get to type in whatever our, um, our name is going to be. And this is gonna be community partner videos. So I'll click on that. I've already put together my description and that's going to have specific thing that's going on, what exactly I'm looking for. Um, really with this project I need some video editors, um, how many hours this project will take, if it's a team project or an individual project, when the due date is. Um, if you don't have a specific due date that, like say you have an event coming up in March and you need a flyer for that, definitely put in the earlier due date that you might need it by. If you don't have something specific, everything for this class spring 2017 semester is due no later than April 15th. We wanna put in contact, um, who to contact and their information. It's really great that you can put it in just kind of as a bullet so the students can see exactly what they're needing. No background check is required for this opportunity. And then please make sure to include your tags for technical writing and ENGL 2100. When and where? So we want this to be an ongoing opportunity from today until January or April 15th. The location will be the Thane Center. I encourage you to put your specific organization's address just to make sure if there's a meeting that you have that they'll be able to get there. We're going to find the Thane Center logo. I've used resizepick.com to resize it to be the right dimension so that it'll show up fully in that box. And then down here, we're going to limit. Um, earlier, I needed a team of four, so I'm going to put it's limited to four people. You will have a box right here to check to say include in the service opportunities list. Please check that box. Um, it's the way that students can filter down and find your opportunity. We also want to make sure that we check, um, that we select the service learning agreement for a pre-registration form and uncheck the auto-approve form. That will give you, as a community partner, control over what students you allow to work on which products. We also want to make sure we include reflection and learning outcomes for three learning outcomes. So we'll create opportunity. And then here it is. Over on the right hand side, I can edit, I can duplicate. So if I have multiple projects I'm going to be working on, I can duplicate it that way. If I saw, oh, my videos aren't going to be two minutes, they're going to be four minutes, I can go back through and edit it, whatever I need to do. And then later we're going to come back and look at this pre registration submissions form there. But for now, I need to wait and get this approved. So I will go and do that. Hold on one second. Okay, so here we are. My project has been approved and it's now public and posted. Um, so I'm taking off my community partner hat and putting on my student hat. I'll click yes, register now. I'm really interested in working on this. Students are gonna have to fill this out. So the instructor is Baird. We're in spring 2017, 2100. I think Daniel has section six, seven, and eight. Course title is technical writing. Um, the student should fill out all of their information. So you have a way to contact them if needed. The name of the community partner in this case is going to be the Thane Center since they're the one I'll be working on the project with. I'm going to make sure I copy their address correctly. My community partner contact name is going to be Rebecca. Community Partnerships Coordinator, and then my e her email, <laughs> that's funny, um, phone number, and then have I discussed my schedule with my community partner? Yes, I know that I'm going to be there Tuesdays from 2 to 4 p.m., and then as a student, I agree to all of these things. Okay, once that's all done, I'll put press continue. and wait for it to load and get out of that. 
Okay, so it loaded, I'll press, press finish. And then it still says that I won't be participating. Well, that's because the community partner has to go into the pre-registration submissions. They'll see that I am pending because I've applied to participate with this particular project. Um, but it's still up to the community partner to say, yep, I agree, you should work on this project. So in doing so, they'll say, I agree, save changes, and then come over here to take action and press approve. This will pop up a message where you can customize it or just be generic. Thanks for working with the Thane Center. Um, but we can even say, you've been to work with the Thane Center on our spotlight videos. Submit. That'll kick a message to the student who has applied. And then when you come over here, you'll now see, since I've been approved by the community partner, um, I've been able to RSVP for the event. Okay, so once that's done, they're now committed to this project. They've completed the project. We've seen all their drafts. We've seen the final project. They've put in all their time. Um, we're going to come over here to participation. We're going to click add participants from the full community. Ooh. Full community, click on lists. We want everyone who's attending. If you'll see, then I show up. And then we're going to give them credit. So for this one, we said it was four hours. They attended. Save. There we go. I now have my four hours for participating in this particular project. However, if I come over to my involvement entry, I'm still not done. If you see, I have a full, um, I have an orange in it, complete activity, so I'll review that. I still need to select my three learning outcomes for the class, as well as provide a reflection on my service. Okay, and then we'll click finish and then go back up to my involvement and there it is, right there. Okay, so that shows the students how to do that. If they're working project by project, that's the process that they'll have to go through to get their hours approved. If they're doing the B track and they're just volunteering 15 hours total with your organization, they're going to come over here within their involvement tab and click add involvement entry, service participation. They'll pick your community partner. So Kelly Catholic Community Services of Utah. My activity name was serving food. I started on Saturday and I ended two months later for a total hours of 15 because that's what I need for the class. My friend's name would be Monica and I'm going to fill out all of her contact information. I'll fill out my three learning outcomes so that I can get credit for that for class and then add a reflection. Okay, and then I would submit that involvement entry for Monica to then approve and then go from there. Okay. Okay, so now that my service opportunities are there, I can type in ENGL 2100. And then what will happen is all of the projects that are available to me as a student in um, Daniel Baird's class are going to pop up and be there for me to be able to click on and um, participate in to go through that same process that I just went through. If they're doing projects like what are listed right here, they can do any combination of products or projects across any different community partners as long as they reach their goal of 15 hours which is different than the B track where they just do 15 hours of direct service and somehow connect that back to their long-term career goals. 
Thank you so much for all your help. Um, I know that this is a learning curve for everybody involved, but if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and let me know. Um, the only other thing there is left to show you, so if they are doing that B track and have um, a need to fill out a service learning agreement separate from a project, they'll click on service learning agreement. We can go to the form and then same thing is what we just did with the event, but it's a little bit more in depth because we wanna make sure that they have, um, they ha know when their orientation is going to be, you're on the same page of how many service minimum needs to be completed, um, when they need to have all their service done by, so that way they're not waiting until the last week to get it all done, and then what their schedule, so they know, okay, every Monday from three to 4 p.m., I'm gonna go and volunteer and do these specific activities. What will happen is down here, they'll need to include your email address. After they click agree, they'll include your email address. It'll shoot an email and ask you to approve that request so that you and the student are on the same page with that service learning opportunity. Okay, well, thanks so much. Um, really appreciate it. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a good day.